heard a knock on the door and a friend of mine come by and says, Bob, will you clean this button for me? So I ran some water over it and washed on it a little bit. And I kind of think this one's not going to have any gilt on it. It's going to turn out to be a brown button. And it's right there where you might want to clean it and you might not want to clean it. But uh, we're going to clean this one to see how, how the detail comes out on it. What we're going to do is, we're going to use a Ziploc bag method. We're going to pour some ammonia in the bag and uh, drop the button in and see what happens. All right, I dropped it down the bag of ammonia and letting it work. It'll take that green off of it. This only works if you haven't put any uh, wax or petroleum jelly or some other substance on there. After a little bit, that clear ammonia will start turning green or blue. The button's been in there about uh, 10 minutes now, and you can see the green coming off of it. This is going to take a little while. I'm going to guess probably off and on soaking for 30 or 35 minutes. Every button's a little bit different. I cleaned on this button for maybe an hour and some of the, the green came off, but I don't know if you can see it in the video. What I do is I take it out about every five minutes and uh, brush it with a toothbrush and examine it. Watch for this right here. It started developing a little hole in the in the rim of the button so when that happened I stopped because I don't want ammonia to get inside of it and start eating from the inside out plus when you get one little hole that usually means that other holes will develop so it's kind of a weak it's got a weak uh, shell on it so we're going to stop right there and leave the button just as it is Scoville Waterbury Button Company. Swords Up, Virginia. I think it's uh, VA 9.